Hello everyone, welcome to Just Invest Today, and today we're talking about the big Chinese crackdown on all the big tech firms in China, Tencent, Baba, PDD, all of that. So let's get into this article. We hear so much going on about what's happening. Yo, the Chinese tech sector have lost like almost f- like five hundred billion dollars, and that's a lot of money. So guys. People have to calm down the market. The market is in so much fear. You would think the world's ending if you're if you're an investor and you're investing in Chinese companies. You would think the world is literally ending. Guys, let's get into this article. This should be able to calm your nerves, calm down. People are saying, "Oh, all this, that, that chatter." People are emailing, whatever, telling you this is happening. But guys, just look at the evidence. Look at what's going on. China's this is this is China state media. China state media moves to reassure rattle investors after route wiped 574 billion off the stock market. China state media are on a mission to talk of the battered stock market and reassure rattle investors after a route of money that erased more than 570 billion from the Chinese stock listed at home and abroad. The panic sell-off provides an opportunity to buy dips, meaning to invest in stocks that have plummeted in price as there is no fundamental changes in the onshore market, according to the article published by the Security Times, which is run by the Communist Party. Guys, this article that came out is run by the Communist Party saying, calm down, like, this is going overboard. Guys, just think about it logically. If the Chinese... if the if um, Juping really wanted to um, harm the securities market, why is he going through all these lengths? Why doesn't he just say no more foreign investors? Why don't he just go crack down right away? Why is he going through all these other routes and ways to do stuff? If he really wanted to do that, he would just say no more foreign investors. He's not a type of person that goes round about ways of doing stuff and cracking down on companies. He would just say, no foreign investors. This is delisted. He's a communist government, as everyone says. Why would he just not be stricter? Why is he going all these roundabout ways to hurt companies, blah, blah, blah? He would just say, no foreign investors. And just make a stance, a hard stance right away. If you really think about it, he would just do that right away. Why is he doing all this other stuff? People don't understand there's two different types of risk going on right now. There's a regular there's a regulatory risk inside of China, and then there's a geopolitical risk dealing with USA and China. And people don't understand those two differences right now. People just think it's just all grouped into one, but you gotta understand the differences between each one. The Chinese regulation, it's it's not as bad as people are thinking. Like, the fear is just crazy right now. We're going to go into the next article talking about it, but it's not as crazy as people are making out to be. The Chinese and the U.S. relations, that is still a risk, and that's still a thing going on. Guys, you got to like this video, guys. Please like it, share, subscribe to my channel. I'm always going to be providing you with good content, but let's get back into this video. So the which is uh, the Shanghai News, which is owned by the official news agency, ran an article saying there's no systematic risk and the stock valuations are expected to rebound. This is <laughs> I don't know how much more specific you can get. The Securities Daily cited analysts as saying the turbulence was simple result of funds rotating in and out of sectors and reassured readers that the big picture of the economy and liquidity remained intact. Guys, don't worry if you're in, if you're investing in these Chinese stocks. So let's go into this. Look, there's four pillars of regulation that will reshape China's big tech. Guys, you got to understand his plan. He came up with a four-pillar plan on what he wants to do with China. Guys, this makes perfect sense. People are reacting because he's doing this after the big tech has already boomed. He should have did all these four pillars before, but he didn't he didn't understand that, yo, China was going through a major shift and he wants to bring it all back to how it should have been before and now he's just doing it now so everyone seems like it's huge risk guys i am thankful for this happening like you don't understand i'm thankful i'm just like wow i would have never thought i'd be buying baba under 180 um 10 cent at like 57 uh pdd at like 80 88 whatever i would have never thought buying jd.com at these prices guys 
look at this as a blessing. Don't look at this as something bad happening. You gotta understand what's happening. Beijing is concerned about the four pillars of stability, banking, antitrust regulation, data, security, and social equality. So there is, take this in. This is what he's doing right now. This is what's happening in China, the four pillars. So banking, what happened with Ant IPO? Ant IPO was lending out a lot of money to students, with people, to everyone, without having like a reinsurance of getting that uh, money back. They're just lending it out with people that didn't have a lot of money. So they're like, whoa, 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 you might be creating a bubble in the economy because you're just lending money out freely to everyone in the in the world, in uh, China, right? So they're, that was trying to do a good thing, getting more people involved in uh, having money and investing and all that stuff, but there's no reinsurance in case stuff falls down and stuff crashes, right? So the government's like, whoa, 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 you can't do this. And then Jack Ma came out, said what he said, blah, blah, blah. And then... Jack Ma laid low. He didn't disappear. Someone, someone came out and said that, like, in Chinese culture, when you say something crazy, you that person just lays low. You don't want to keep keep going after the government, whatever. Like this has happened to a lot of people. Any anyone, if you have a senior in USA and you have a sexual assault case or whatever, you gonna lay low. You don't. You're not gonna be keep boasting. It's not like. He disappeared. He just wasn't in the media light. Like you don't do that when you have a salt case or you have some kind of allegations against you or you're going against the government. You lay low. That's everyone lays low. That's what you do. So that wasn't. That's not a big concern, right? Anti-trust regulation. This is the anti-monopoly practices that um, Baba was doing, saying you cannot sell on your platform if you're selling on another platform. Ten cent has exclusive music deals where you, no one else can invest and they have WeChat which n was not allowing Alibaba onto their platform and deleting links leading to Alibaba stuff so that's a huge problem guys these are monopoly practices that he doesn't want he wants free trade he wants everything to go smoothly so understand that right social equality data security DD this I guess DD cybersecurity wasn't up to date he told the government told them before that you cannot list on the on the uh, American Stock Exchange because we're still doing a background, but they did it anyway, and that's when they came it back. So that's another thing, guys. So social equality, they, you got to make sure you're doing everything socially acceptable. Acceptable. So that's why the EDU, all the online education, he's stopping that. He's trying to make education affordable for middle class and lower class because China goes crazy with education and all the top people. People who are born in wealth are going to do the best because that's where you're going to invest all that money and education into. And then he wants more people to have kids, right? So education needs to be more affordable now. So he wants to make it non-profit so everyone can get good education. Like, all this seems so rational to me, but people in the media and everyone else is making this to be some crazy conspiracy against big tech. But we just seen in the other article, he's saying, calm down. This is just normal regulation. This is going to benefit the economy going forward. So, all this talk and all this drama, like, it's crazy, man. But maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just thinking in a different way. But there is an op opposite opinion against me saying, no, this is not what he's trying to do. He's actually trying to hit down tech really hard. I'm not sure. I just have this opinion. Other people have their own opinion on it. Tell me what you guys think, guys, because this crackdown is still going. I'm hoping the prices go lower. I'm hoping more people get scared. Guys, you have to realize that institutional investors make us like make us wealthy, guys. There's going to be huge euphoria when prices go up. When you buy an investment, the institutional investors are ones making those investments go skyrocketing. And then the institutional investors are making everything be very pessimistic in the market, which provides us a good opportunity to buy cheaper stocks. So, guys, all of this is literally good news, guys. All this Baba going to 180, all this stuff going to whatever, 50, this is good news, guys. You got to see this as good news, not bad news. So, change your mindset a little if you believe in these opportunities if you still don't want to believe in china if you don't want to believe in whatever's going on i understand and i accept that but guys have two sides of the coin get both opinions on both sides 
is it this way or is it that way? And then make your decision however you want to make it. But man, do your research, understand what's going on, and figure out, talk to people. Uh, like, I have a lot of people on Twitter that I follow that are Chinese, and they're saying the same thing I'm saying. But maybe because they're Chinese, maybe they're just being that way. And then the Americans are saying the <laughs> Americans, people from Canada, they're all saying the opposite way. So it's funny to see the two different sides of the coin right now. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel. I'll get back to you in the next video. Peace.